Hi everyone, welcome to new tutorial. Let me show you how I created this illustration. Here you can see a fibrous network of a material. This was created by looking under AFM microscope image. Uh, we got the AFM image as a reference and I added that inside Blender and traced on top of that and created this 3D representation. Let's learn how to do that. So this particular research is from Professor Rajivargi's lab, Iser Tiruvananthapuram. Here you can see the research paper. A pH responsive DNA som from the self-assembly of DNA phenyl ethinylene hybrid amphiphyl. Okay, so when you go to the research paper and the supporting information, you can find a nice air from image. So this is the image. We can create a screenshot using snip tool in windows right click save as i'll save on desktop save okay now go to blender i hope you have installed the latest version of blender which is very important so now you can add a new image by pressing shift a or go to add menu go to add menu where you can find image where you can find mesh plane. So select that and go to desktop and choose our image. Click on import image as a plane. Now you will find a plane here at the center of the 3D viewport, which is basically our image. If you go to material preview mode, you should be able to see the image. See, now what we want to do, I'll move this to one side like this and I will add a cube shift a mesh cube now we are going to do something very interesting let's keep the image here increase the size a little bit okay so go to edit mode press tab right click and choose merge vertices at center as soon as you do that you will see the cube just has disappeared which means all the vertex points of the cube merged into one point at center that is what you are seeing here as a yellow dot. Now you need to add a modifier on top of this, which is known as skin modifier. Click here on add modifier. Inside search, type skin and select skin. Now you can see the cube has appeared back. So the cool thing about this is, this modifier is creating a skin around the vertex point. You can apply this to any you know, mesh network but in this case, if I go to edit mode, press tab, go to wireframe mode so that you can see this cube is actually a skin at the center. We have a dot. So if I elongate that dot, the skin will follow and you can elongate that dot in any direction that you want and create branches wherever you extend that skin will follow and you will get a, you know, branched network. Let's see how to do that. Go to edit mode, press tab left click on this dot and press e e is the shortcut for extrude and you can see it is elongating if you go to solid preview mode you can see this is how it happens you can continue by pressing e and you can move it wherever you want go to wireframe mode again and you can select any vertex point like this and you can create a branch from there press e like this and that's how you do it and you can extend how many times you want to create multiple branches this is how we also model neuron cell that you can keep in mind now it looks like a branched network we need to make it smooth right click on add modifier search here and search subdivision surface modifier select that now it became smooth you can increase levels of subdivision maybe three maximum better not go beyond that now the branch will be automatically smooth so if you get points where you know these kind of defects are there what you can do go to wireframe mode yeah and select that vertex point and move it a little bit like this and it will be fixed so that is something that we need to keep an eye on. Okay, now let me delete it. Let's do this for our AFM image. Let me switch to material preview mode. F 
in order to trace this i need to go to top view so that i can you know look at the image directly from the top so click on this gimbal on positive z axis use this hand tool to move it into correct location that looks fine i will add a new cube shift a mesh cube and move it here go to edit mode press tab right click merge vertices at center go to modifiers click on add modifier skin and add skin modifier and now we are good to go and you can also add subdivision surface fire on top of this increase levels of subdivision i'll keep it to two for now and now you can go to wireframe mode you will not see the image then okay now we can start i'll scale it down a little bit and i will move it somewhere here and i'll go to edit mode press tab extrude and press e wherever you have turns you need to press e okay i have created this line and now if you are confused you can quickly switch to wireframe mode and select you know these points and come back to material preview mode and press e again to create branches and i am simply clicking here assuming that that point is selected in fact it is our goal is not to produce everything 100% accurately but more or less realistic to give an idea how it is forming this fibrous network okay so this is a rough representation uh, you can spend a lot of time making it you know accurate so there is a small trick that we can do under skin modifier activate smooth shading so that the surface will look smooth you don't have to increase subdivision further here in order to save some memory space now we have our fibrous network you can move it somewhere here and i will add a plane shift a mesh plane and i will increase the scale and let's add some color for the structure i will increase the metallic a little bit so let's add some thickness to this plane by adding soldify modifier soldify and increase the thickness a little bit that looks good all right that is how you do it i hope you learned how to use skin modifier which is very powerful you can try it to create neuron cells as well let me show you a nice example i have created one cover art illustration using the same technique for professor vinesh vijayan lab i sir tirundapuram here you can see at the top we have various neuron cells i use the same technique to create that network if you need any help let me know so if you think the thickness is high you can increase branch smoothing a little bit it will make the thickness slightly less okay now let's take a good image shift a camera shift a light area light it here go to render preview mode increase the size of the lamp one symbol area lamp would be fine we need to increase the power to get more light in the scene look through the camera we don't see anything lock the camera and zoom out and fix the camera view nicely like this move this image out of the view now this looks good so i'll move the light slightly closer to reduce the shadows go to render go to render settings 
under film activate transparent and click render render image so that's how i created this image and try it yourself let me know if any help needed i hope you learned how to use skin modifier it is very powerful see you in the next tutorial